kitchen where I had some time to play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Cole. It is bright and early this morning. I am doing this before I go to work, but I wanted to do this area of the dining room with you guys today. Now you can tell that I've already got my white pictures up top. I just wanted to line them up with just the handle showing. It was something I had seen on an Instagram account and I thought, you know, I'm gonna try that this year. So when you see a picture and you like it, just go ahead and try it and then mix in your style with it. I promise, I think it's gonna work for us today. I'm gonna take you off the stand and let you see my naked area over here. And I do, and I may mention it, uh, I do have a random rug on the floor. I had ordered a rug and it is, it was just wadded up. So I have laid it out here in the dining room just to lay it flat. So I've been walking back and forth on it, trying to get it, y'all know the routine. But let's get started today. So this is what it looks like before. I do have dishes down below in these white cabinets, but I have changed everything out or just pulled everything out, excuse me. And that's what it looks like. I do have the white pictures up top, like I said earlier. And I think I want to do all white and mix in some pinks on this wall. So as I mentioned, I have these across the top, and that's kind of my theme, okay? I want to keep everything light and white. Are you kidding me? Nicole's going to do mostly white in this area. I am going to add hints of pink here and there. I have some dishes that have some gold trim and some little filigree pink. I'm going to try to, you know, finagle those in if I can. So first things first, I have these beautiful Plexicraft. And I know I probably say that wrong, but with these braces, it's so very hard to say it. I didn't even put my rubber bands in this morning because I wanted to be able to talk to you guys. But these things are beautiful. I don't know if you have watched, and I'll show a clip of the picture here. I bought from an estate sale several things, and this lady is who I bought this and um, this other piece that I'm going to show you guys. She gave me some of the pieces that go with it. She was a sweet lady, so when I went to her estate sale, I had to have something from her house. It was just super sentimental to me. But this is one that I had bought from her a while back at a garage sale. Gorgeous. And I think I'm going to put that in the second shelf right here. I love the lines of this one. But I have a smaller set that I bought from her as well. Same. Uh, no, this one is Ironstone. This one is Ironstone. Beautiful. Um, but I am going to put that down here. Now you can see, as I normally do, I did zigzag it. So I've got pieces that go with this teapot and, and pieces that go with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add those in. These are the creamer and sugar bowl for this one. Where's my other set? This is the creamer and sugar bowl for this one. Isn't that so stinking cute? Now there are some imperfections on these, but I really don't care. Uh, she did give me the ones that were cracked. God bless her heart. But I love those pieces. Now, I do want to add in some Easter. So, I found these. I say Easter. It's kind of a spring look. So, I love bunny rabbits and I love mixing them in. But these are white, just solid white. I bought these from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. 
but you see the touch of pink in the ear. That's where led, it led me to think, you know, if I can mix these in, maybe I can mix my plates in. So that's how an idea starts. And I'm just gonna use my little bunnies in this area, and here's the pop of pink. I have these beautiful plates They are so pretty, y'all. They have a pink and a lavender, and then look at the edge with the gold filigree. Love that. These are uh, Homer Laughlin, and I can't see because I don't have my glasses on, but you see this color? I want to put this right here. Now, that to me completely pops. I love that look, but then I want to build on that pink just a little bit more. I found this small piece with just some pretty pink flowers on it, and I'm just gonna add that in. So now I've got pops, right? So I love that. I wanna move down below. I have these hobnob uh, milk glass uh, candle holders, and I'm just gonna mix those in. And then I have my grandmother's plate that I wanted to use. Where is that at? I noticed when I pick this thing up to bring it in here, it's kind of shifting when I pick it up. I wish there was some kind of film or something I could put over it to protect it. But this plate is so pretty and I just wanted to add a pop of pink. So I'm being very delicate with it. But you see how I angle it across? I don't want everything straight up and down. I want them kind of angled. But then I thought, what am I gonna do in these side pieces? I have white plates that I use in my kitchen. Maybe I can use those. I have the hobnob candle, up, candle holders, right? These are um, Oneida and they have the um, dots on the around the edges. And I thought, well, why couldn't I use that? So I'm just gonna mix those in here and there. I am gonna put it behind these pictures because they're kind of short. The same as I did over on the other side, I'm gonna do one on the bottom and one on the top. It just adds another layer. I love this look. And I, you know, when I was starting to go with this white and I thought, Nicole, this is not you. You can't do this, but I'm going to try it really hard with you guys. Now I have the um, salt and pepper shakers that go with my teapots here. So I am just going to mix those in on either side. This is my other set. Now, what else could I do? What do I need to do in here? I have some more of these plates. What if I did this? That's pretty. Now, what could I add in there? Hmm. Maybe some more creamers? Let's do that. I have a ton of white creamers, and I'm just going to mix those in. And on this side... some coffee cups, but I think I want to use those on the side shelves just to pull the eye out from the center of all of this. But I have some more plates that have the gold trim. They're not matching to these, okay? They are different and they have a little tiny print in the center. So my thought was where I don't have 
pops of pink and now I'm just going to do that and just push my little saucer up next to it. If y'all have noticed, those last plates have a little touch of blue in them. So I possibly could add in my blue, but I don't want to do that right here. I'm trying to keep my blue away. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my blue away. But I have these really pretty um, Dundee uh, jars. I bought these from Rusty Ridge Vintage off of Instagram. Allie is so sweet. She finds me all kinds of neat things. But I just want to add some greenery. So I'm just going to put this one here. Let me move that plate over just slightly. Maybe I can do this. I just wanted a little bit of greenery. It just seems kind of flat to me. I have another Dundee, but this one's kind of taller and slender. So I think I'm going to kind of scoot this behind my bunnies here. And just look how that makes everything kind of pop out. I think that's beautiful. I think this area is done. Can you believe that? I have done really well with not over filling and I've done mostly white. So I'm so proud of myself. Let's move to the sides. So as you can tell, I already have a bunny piece. My dad made me this. Let me bring it down so y'all can see it. So I found me a little bunny rabbit um, cut out on, on Facebook or somewhere. And I just printed it out. Daddy drew it and we um, cut it out of a piece of wood. And this is an old piece of wood. But he just put it on a dowel and this was from an old bed post. So uh, I love this little piece. It makes me think of the times that daddy and I would work in the workshop. But I just wanted to add that up here just to add some whimsy of my bunny rabbits. Now I wanna do something down below and I do wanna keep it kind of white. So I went back to my kitchen and I found these saucers that match my other plates. And I just put it in my little plate rack and I'm going to do that to this side but this area looks very plain to me and so I thought Nicole why don't you mix in some wood pieces so here we go I have this wooden dough bowl and my thought was to put it in the back now see how much texture that added I mean just a pop now I have these these are old um, sugar molds and I just put my great-grandmother silver in them just to add some interest but I think adding that wood down below really makes it pop now I have my husband bought this for me it's super heavy it's a marble lazy Susan he bought it off of Amazon and he bought it for our kitchen island and he did not read the description. And God bless him. This thing looks tiny on my on my uh, kitchen island. Y'all have seen my island. It's humongous. So this just did not work. So I brought it in here. And I thought that I'd put it dead center of that. With some white bowls with the gold trim. Now this really pretty marble look bird and I'm just going to stick him right there. Now I need something here and I need something taller. I have this other ironstone pitcher. I have a good collection of ironstone pitchers but I'm just going to put it here just like I did these up up top and then I'm going to add in a little wooden spoon. Now I love this but I think I need something up here. So my thought was, this goes to one of my tea sets. And this is a different uh, pink flower, but it all matches. So I can mix it all together. You can tell I added my hobnob um, vase here with my fern. I used to have my blue and white here and I moved those out last night getting ready to do this with you guys. And I like all the white. I did say that. I like all the white 
on this side. It's really pretty with little pops of pink. Let's move to the other side. So this other side is basically a mirror image of the opposite side. So once again, I'm going to add my hobnob little vase with my big fronds of fern. It elongates the eye, makes it just look up the wall because I have this huge wall up here and I'll take y'all off and show you in just a minute. So now I need some pretty down here. And my thought was, more plates. These came from my kitchen, guys. These are everyday plates. But I am going to put those right here and maybe even stack on some saucers. Then I found the cutest little thing. Aren't those sweet? I've had these for years. I don't even know where I bought them. Um, I didn't put a year on the bottom or anything, but they are so precious. And I thought just on the top of my stacked plates, that would be cute. So I'm doing that there. But then I was thinking, you know, I have some pink here and there. Why don't I add my little pink pitcher? So, or teapot. So I'm just going to stick that in the center. And to kind of mimic the other side, I have this smaller ironstone pitcher that I'm going to turn just like I did the other one with a little wooden paddle. I can mix in some more. I have the small little plate and this small creamer just to kind of fill in that void to me. Now up top, I'm gonna to do exactly the way I did on the other side. White cup, floral cup. This is so pretty. Let me take y'all off. I may kind of tweak a little bit, but let's get to looking at it. I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love the pops of pink and tons of white. I'm just gonna let y'all look around. Thank you for joining me today. I love decorating with you guys, and I hope that y'all got some inspiration for your own home. See y'all Saturday. So